everybody, it's Jen and Lindsay with another semi-pro stenciling project. I am so excited to be doing another project with you guys. And since it's Easter week, we're working on fun Easter project. We're just going to chit chat for a few minutes so that people know that we're on. Um, but we're just going to let you know that this is going to be a quick and fun, easy Easter project that we're going to be working on. I'm not doing black and white this time. I know I've been doing a ton of black and white, but I'm not doing that this time. She's actually using colors. I'm using colors. Woo! I know I'm so excited about it. So um, let us know if you're here, where you're from, what's going on where you are. It is cold here, like freezing cold here. And it was crazy because I played golf on Monday. So it's really cold. And Lindsay and I are not happy about the temperature change. <laughs> but in two weeks, I'll be in the... Yeah, on two weeks, Lindsay's going to be in the... Where are you going, Dominican? Aruba. Aruba. Dominican. Yeah, she's going to the Caribbean. Oh, I'm so jealous. On a cruise. She's going on a cruise with her friend and her husband, and they're going to have a blast, and I'm jealous because I want to be in that warm weather. You just got back from the Dominican. I know, but I was only there for five days. I need, like, a 10-day vacation. <laughs> Do we have anybody with us yet, Lindsay? Yeah, Sharon Schatz here. Hi, Sharon. From up north in Ohio. Yes, ma'am. Our neighbor. Um, Miss Tammy Etheridge is here. Hi, Tammy. Thanks for watching. From an island in Georgia. I know. I'm coming to visit you sometime, Tammy. I'm telling you I'm coming. All right. Let us know where you guys are Yes, if from. you're here. We see you popping in, so let us know where you're from. Alejandra, I apologize, but from Argentina. Argentina. Ooh, that's a, listen, that's on my bucket list. I want to come there and see that. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. Are you guys having good weather? Our weather, like I said, is super, super cold, but I think it's going to warm up. We're going to have rain this weekend and then rain for the next rain, five days. Yeah. Rain next. Yeah. Rain this next is week. what? Three and a half inches of rain? A lot of rain, but it, it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Tammy says, please do come. I will, Tammy. I will. I will for sure. Sun in a palm tree also. Oh, I love the sun in the palm tree. We have Diane here from Minnesota. Hi, Diane. Thanks for joining us. Rosie from Arizona. Rosie, you've been with us before. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. <laughs> All right, so listen, guys, we are going, like I said, we're going to do another CD stencil project today. Um, uh, Lindsay and I are semi-pro stencilers, so we are trying to teach you tri like really quick and easy um, projects that you can do um, either just to really get something done quickly or something that you could like do with your grandkids or a new painter. If you're if you're not sure about getting into the painting world, um, these are always great projects to start with because they're not as overwhelming. Uh, so I think it's always a little fun to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to do um, one of our newer stencils from CD Stencils. We talk about this every week. Um, our CD Stencils are our sister company from Cover Distributing. So cdwood.com, it's the um, parent company to um, CD Stencils. And there is another website for that where we have every one of our stencils that you could purchase is available on that website as well as ours. But it's a little, that one's a little faster to shop if you're only looking for stencils because that's what the focus of that website is. Um, you can find all the projects or all of the supplies that we're using today on the website cdwood.com if you want if you only want brushes and stencils you can hop over to the cd stencil site and get them there if it's your first time visiting the cd stencil site there's a quick little thing that will pop up if you sign up for the newsletter um, that's going to give you a 20 percent off coupon so that's always good um, we love coupons if you're a returning customer to us you know that when you buy something and you get your invoice in the mail at the bottom i have that little highlighted piece with that coupon code that's going to save you 15 percent off of a 50 dollar order so there's always coupons out there guys for you guys to use we, we know that you guys have to like kind of watch what you're spending and save where you can. So we're trying to give you guys good deals. Um, we always have sales. Every week we have a sale. Um, I think you're doing a lot of sales on CD Stencils too, every right, Lindsay? Yeah, yeah, every week there's a, a sale on CD Stencils website as well. So make sure you're watching your newsletters for those guys. Hello, Peg and Mary. Hi, Peg and, and Mary. And Carrie. And Carrie, thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, um, I just want to let you know that this is a semi-pro stenciling project. <laughs> Lindsay and I are newer to painting. Uh, it was funny. Chris said in the office yesterday, I think, no, Tuesday, she was like, I can't believe that like five years ago, you girls never would have picked up a paintbrush. So here we are doing videos now of painting. Uh, but we're working on it, guys. We're working on it. And you've been so sweet and kind to us. So, all right, Lindsay, are we about ready to get started? Yep. 
Okay, let's switch our camera. Guys, remember Lindsay's here and she's gonna answer all of your questions. She's gonna put links into all of the um, project or products that we're using today. So if you want to pick anything up, Lindsay's gonna put that in for you. You can just click on the link, it'll take you straight to the website, okay? Um, are you linking to CD Stencils or CD Wood or both. both? Okay, she's she'll link to both, so whichever you want to do. So I never even asked you that before. Um, okay, this is the project we're working on today, guys. This is one of our stencils from CD Stencils, uh, all hand or all made right here in um, Urbana, Ohio. So all made in the United States. We get, we uh, Drake and um, John design all the stencils, get all of that laid out nice and pretty for you. Um, they're all laser cut. So you're going to get those smooth, clean edges when you're stenciling, as long as you're smart about how much paint you're putting on your board. Um, this is the Mr. Cottontail's Carrot Patch Fresh You Pick. This is the stencil we're going to be working on today. I always like to show you guys this one on the back because I do have a white board. Um, prepped for this one so you don't have to watch me base coat that. We're going to work on this guy today. I have a plan in my mind. Let's see if it works out. It's always questionable, but we're going to see if it works out. We so always talk it out beforehand. We always do. Like I even talked, oh, like we talked about this last time we picked the before the last project and I had a plan and then I told Lindsay, I was like, okay, let me talk this out with you one more time and make sure I got this right. Okay. The board that I'm using here is our nine by 12 panel. This is also um, the back panel for the the large door, like the door piece, the plaque that we have, this is the panel for that. So if you have any of those laying around at home and you wanna do this project, that's what this piece is. So it's a nine by 12, um, I think it's the panel inserts, what it's called, Lindsay. Um, I'm also going to be stenciling with Chris's number four spectacular stencil brush. Talk about this every single time that we do a video, guys. This stencil brush is amazing. This is really soft bristles on the top here, if you can see. I mean, like, it's super soft, so you're not getting that rough edge. I just love how her brushes feel. Um, that you've got this long, pretty red handle. But the thing I kind of like about her brushes here is this longer part here. I don't feel like I'm so close when I'm stenciling that I'm going to get paint everywhere because I kind of make a mess when I do it. Um, but that's this piece here. We're going to, I think I'm pro well, I'm probably going to use the number three stencil brush on here um, because of it. So it'll be a little bit smaller and I'll have a little bit more control. So we're going to work on that. I base coated my um, piece with uh the Snow White from DecoArt. So Snow White um, acrylic paint from DecoArt is what I base coated with. Couple of coats for that. Got that already done. So you're not going to have to watch me do that. Okay. So I am going to get a little bit fancy today, guys. Oh. I've got green and orange paint. Okay. I always think about that when I'm shaking. It's going to make somebody nauseous on the thing. As always, I've got my handy dandy um, paper plate here from Costco or Sam's Club, wherever mom and dad pick them up at because <laughs> I'm so professional. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to use Hauser Light Green for the first part of my project, okay? I have this taped down to my board so it won't move. I'm gonna just load my brush up here. I like to put a good little bit of paint on my brush. Let me see if I can get this on camera here. Um, and then kind of get all that excess off on a paper towel. And then I'm just gonna start. I My plan is to do Mr. Cottontails and then the fresh you pick in green. And then I'm gonna do this part in orange. So. Let's just start over here with the Mr. Cottontail. And I think, guys, I think I might try to do a little bit of shading on this. I don't know. I'm, it depends on how much time we have left, uh, if I have time to do that. But I might try to do a little bit of, like, detailing shading on some of my lettering. We'll see. We'll some semi-pro shading. Some semi-pro shading, yeah. You guys will probably cringe when you see me try to do that if I get there. It'll just depend on time. We try to keep our videos here about 30 minutes or less because um, we know your time's important and we so and we so appreciate you guys joining in and watching us and cheering us on. So we don't want to take up too much of your time, but we want to get you a great project and give you some fun ideas. So anybody have any questions so far, Lindsay? Not so Not far. So we far. Have Brenda joining us from Colorado. Oh, Brenda, thank you for joining us today. If you're new, guys, thank you for checking in. This is um, Lindsay and I are call ourselves semi-pro stencilers because we're newer to painting and we don't know all of the terminology or, um, let's see, like 
technique that you guys know. So we are just kind of like picking up what we can. We're always open to suggestions. So if there's a project that you guys would like to see, like if there's a stencil that you saw on our website and you would like to see us do a project with it, let us know because we're always happy to pull those and see what we can come up with. I know it's funny when Lindsay and I are picking these stencils, like we're looking online, like kind of coming up with ideas and stuff. It's funny because we're like, how would that translate into a stencil? We always have to like think it out. Um, so it's kind of fun to kind of see that. But okay. Can we ask before how people stencil or if they're tappers or swirlers? Yes, we did. We did have that. If you're new to us, okay, we did have this question before. If you're new to us, we want to know. I'm a tapper when I stencil. So there's two different ways you can stencil. You can either swirl like so. I'm not a big fan of swirling. I'm more of a tapper. I feel like I have more control when I tap. So let us know if you're a tapper or a swirler. I'm a tapper. Lindsay is a tapper, yes. I'm an aggressive tapper. She is too. You should hear her when she's stenciling at the desk. She's like, I'm like, are you all right over there? It's like she's getting some aggression I'm now. I'm an aggressive typer. So. You are. Well, your keyboard's lot. She has this really, she got a newer computer and her keyboard's new. So it's, and it's super loud when she clicks on it. Oh, and you hear, it lights up. It does light up. It's got these real cool like neon lights under it. It's cool. Tammy is a swirler. Tammy Etheridge? Yes. Okay. Good to know. All right. I just feel like, Tammy, I don't know. You must be, like, really good because I feel like I don't have as much control when I swirl. I always feel like so, when I swirl, I get it under the stencil. Yeah, it's going to, like, lift it up or something. Diane is a swirler. Okay. A lot of swirlers. Okay. You know, honestly, if you think about it, it's probably easier on your wrist to be a swirler. Probably. You know what I mean? Like I would think that probably would because be easier on your yeah. It's more of it's more of this. More yeah, motion. you're doing it more of the. I mean, look at us getting signed. Look at me, look at me, guys. I'm swirling, so you can see the difference. Actually, swirling might even not be that bad with this one because it doesn't have all those little pieces to it. Brenda says she does both. Yeah, I can see that, Brenda. I can see how I could do both. I feel like you would probably use less paint if you were a swirler because, look, you don't have all that. See where I swirled those three? You don't have all that extra paint. So you probably would use less paint. I think Chris is a swirler. I think Chris, well, I think Chris does a little bit of both. So, guys, I know since you're joining us that you know who Chris is when we talk about Chris. Chris is Chris Hoy, the owner and designer here for um, Cover Distributing, CD Wood. Um, so she is our boss here, and she's the one that creates all those awesome patterns for you. She is not our mother, even she, though we call her mom. She is not our mom. Yeah, I think we talked about that the last time. She's not our mom, but we call them mom and dad. We all do um, because we're all like a big family here, and they treat us like we're their kids and love us like they're where their kids. So you know, it, it just works. Fake brother. Yeah, we have a little fake brother that his, that's Drake. We call him our brother sometimes. 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 It depends on what kind of mood we're in. All right. Janet says she's a swirler. Okay, Janet. I, I'm curious of why you swirl as opposed to, like, pounce. I'm just curious by that. If anybody can answer that. Do you feel like you get better coverage that way? You're just more comfortable that way? You feel like it's faster? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Taught that way. Teach me the ways. Yeah. I want to know the fastest ways. Kristen teaches that way. Didn't no. no she, well, she to... told us you could, but I think, I I don't know. I've just always been, like, I was always taught, like, to, to pounce it because that way you make sure you don't get the run underneath. You know, with coming from the paper crafting when we use snaps, right. we pounce. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because you're, you're, really you're using you're using ink. Yeah. yeah, you can't really swirl with ink, so you would pounce ink. Yeah, so that makes sense. Maybe that's yeah, why, that's Lindsay. Why do, I don't probably. know. I don't know. Okay, that makes sense. Peg says both. Both. Okay, Peg. I get that. I can see that. Oh, Brenda says that she finds that swirling gets in the corners better. Okay, I can see that. Oh, Tammy said gasp. I totally thought Jen was Chris's daughter. <laughs> Every Did you really, Tammy? That's so funny. Everybody thinks that. And it's funny when people call the store, Lindsay and I kind of giggle. We we would never correct you when you call. But no, like won't. when people call and they're like, you're a mom. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> or how's your dad doing? Yeah, dad's good. He's good. Well, it's because we call him mom and dad. I can see where people would be confused because I call him mom and dad every day, well, even we don't online. Call him dad. We call him Papa John. Uh, Papa John, yeah. yeah. Well, I call him dad sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just depends. Or Padre Juan. Padre Juan, yeah, I call him that sometimes too. <clears throat> uh, Diane says smoother and better coverage. Did I say that? No. Okay, Diane says smoother and better coverage. I can, okay, Diane, I can see that. I can really see that now. Actually, since I swirled those, I can totally see that. Those three letters that I did. 
I can totally see what you would think. Lois says she pounces because it doesn't bleed on her. See, that's how I, I agree, feel. Lois. That's, that's how I feel. That's how Lindsay and I were like almost like. I, but again, we came from paper crafting. So like you did that, you did all of your stenciling with like ink and stuff and that runs. So you couldn't really swirl with that. And also I think the stencils are a little more intricate in paper crafting, like mm -hmm. not as big of think, pieces. I feel like they're a little bit thinner material too. Yes, I think you're right. And we've got a nice thick material here. Seven mil. Yeah. So, so that probably does, uh, that probably helps too, Lindsay, with the runnage. Okay, That's pretty green. This doing? is pretty green. This is a Hauser light. Yeah. Rosie says I get better coverage with swirling. Okay. You just have to offload really good. Don't press too hard. I that's okay. See, good I'm tip. Aggressive, so yeah, you are good. aggressive. Yeah. I would much rather do a couple of coats um and then just kind of take my time and make sure I don't get that run cuz I'm okay, I don't have a steady hand whatsoever. So if I if I were going to be swirling and I got like that bleed through, I would be in trouble because I couldn't clean those lines up. I would have to bring it in and be like, mom, can you help me? Like a little kid with their school project. <laughs> All right. Any questions, Lindsay? No, not yet. Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk to you real quick because we talked about Chris. I just put a new pattern online this afternoon and it's called Squeeze the Day. And it is very farmhouse-ish. Um, I know I told you guys that I, I've told you a million times probably that uh, my house is decorated more like farmhouse style. And I just did a new, or she just designed this new pattern. And the video for that goes out on Tuesday, right, Lindsay? It'll be yes, on, yeah, Tuesday there'll be a free YouTube um, video on our YouTube channel from Chris at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. So if you want to grab those pieces, and get or that bundle or just the e pattern or whatever. There is a stencil for the lettering. If you want to paint it, you could. I would don't think you're gonna want to. Um, but yeah, so that's a new product on our website. I just put some new e patterns up. One from Sharon Bond, which is an adorable bunny. You didn't say that right. Bond. Bond. Sharon, Sharon Bond. Bond. Um, so I just put this adorable chocolate pattern up. It's got, it says follow the chocolate and has the, a little arrow. It's got this adorable bunny stuff in his face with chocolate candy. Um, so that is also online. I put that on this morning and there were some patterns from Sue Cochran yep. and also from Wendy Fahey that all got put on this morning. So if you're interested and you're a fan of those artists there, you might want to stop over to their sections on the website and check those out. So you just go to the e-pattern section, find their name, and then sort from old to new, or new to old, and then they'll be the first ones that pop up. And I did put the link to the new um, stuff on the cover distributing website in the chat. Oh, so. good. Perfect. So if you want to grab that squeeze the day, you can um, go straight over from that link and get that. There's a oh, It's so cute. I love it, how it turned out. It's lemons. It's like a little lemon wreath on like a barn siding type thing it's really cool so all right let's just do a little peeksy and see how we're doing guys fingers crossed Lou oh, that's gonna be pretty yeah, see, can you see it color. that's a pretty color for greens okay um I think I told you guys before that I'm not like super particular about like that marbling color on there I don't feel like it has to be like a solid color if you are somebody that really thinks it needs to be completely coated um just give it another little tap the I feel like the more layers you get on here the easier it is to cover so if you just keep going over it a little bit you'll just definitely get that solid green color underneath of there so that is what I'm working on now just picking up some of those pieces that look a little bit marbled still. Do you guys, are you particular about that? Does like, is that important to you? Do you need that solid color or are you okay with like that? Almost like, dis I think it looks distressed and I really like that look. So I don't really get picky about that. Okay. So I'm working on this green here again. This is Hauser light. Um, I think this is such a pretty color. And we thought fun, fall or spring, you gotta go with like a bright color, right? We did the um, bathroom sign last week and we used celery green on that one. That one would have been pretty on this too, but I think we needed a brighter green. So I, I'm glad we went with this one, Lindsay. Okay, so this is happening, it's coming up. We're doing this, this is working, I got it. Um, let's see, what else have I been working on? I've been working on, painting up some of our etched plaques. 
we have, oh, and I also painted up, okay, last week I started and finished. We have a brand new door hanger that's called Welcome Spring and it has paintbrushes on it. We didn't talk about that last week, did we, Lindsay? I don't think so. I don't think we did. Okay, if we did, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but I'm just going to let you know about it. I painted that guy up and it is so cute, but I'm going to tell you the cool thing about it. I used all of the new colors from DecoArt, all of them. The only thing that's not the um, new DecoArt colors is the uh, blue background. And that was, I think, blue chiffon because I wanted like a sky -y color. But yes, it's it turned out really good. It's pretty. I like the way it turned out. So it's fun. If you want to see it, Lin are you popping that in the chat, Lindsay? Or are you? Too. Okay, she's putting the link in the chat. Okay, guys, we're going to talk for a second about this brush again. Remember how we talked last week about being able to wash this brush out? So it's got my bucket of water over here. I'm just scrubbing it up a little bit. I'm going to get all of that excess water off of there, make sure I don't have any more coloring in there. And I'm going to go to my next color. Do you see how that's just coming out nice and clean? All right. So we're going to move on here to our orange. Oh, yeah. There we go. And again, the, the great thing about Chris's brushes is that you can wash them out in between colors. Yes. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's still kind of damp, but not soaking wet. I mean, it's so... Look, you can't even see it on the paper towel anymore. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to go to orange. So I'm going to use... Let's see. Let's use Canyon Orange for my base. All right. Again, guys, if you purchase any of our stencils, see this done here. We talk about this every week as well. That is just um, our, this is the, like, co like the prototype copy that comes to the office. And then Lindsay writes the numbers on these. And this is how we know um, what numbers are going to be for Drake and all of that good stuff. So that's what that is. If you buy our stencils, you're not going to have that um, on yours. This, we just, I just use those since we have them instead of using new ones. Um, that's what that is about. Yeah, they are numbered. Your stencil will be numbered, but it's an engraved one yes. on the bottom of the stencil. Yep, it'll be engraved. It says CD stencils, and I'll have like a zero nine and then a number behind that. So that all of our stencils are numbered. So if you're never, sh if you're not sure, of, like you want to get another stencil that's the same, and you're not sure what it's called, you can always just put that number in on either website, and it'll bring it right up for you. It'll also bring up any projects that are used in that. Like if Chris used one of our background stencils on something, and she used that number, that pattern will also show up. So that's always kind of nice if you have a stencil at home and you're like, I really wish I could use this for something, but I can't remember what the project was. You could just go ahead and Google that or put that in our um, search bar on our website and um, it will come up, which is a very nice thing about our website. Okay, I like this orange with that green, Lindsay. It's bright. It's very bright, yes. It's a very good color for carrots. Yes, it is. Okay. Anybody have any questions yet? Nothing yet. Okay, I'm gonna turn my thing here so I make sure I don't get a mess here. I hope I'm not making you guys sick with my spinning of my project. Okay. So here, let's see what's going on. Um, How are things, what's happening in your neck of the woods for the solar eclipse? I'm curious what everybody else is thinking about. We are um, like in the line for like the total. The path of totality. Yeah, the path of totality. Lindsay knows all the right words. Um. Yeah, so we're in line for the path of totality. So they're like they're expecting like a lot of people to come here. Like hotel, I guess hotels are booked up, um, and uh, they're expecting like ton like internet <laughs> issues and schools are closed that day. Schools are closed. A lot of the businesses here in Urbana are going to be closed or leaving early. Jen and Lindsay are leaving at noon. Jen and so Lindsay are leaving home. at noon. Yeah, I drive twenty five minutes to and from work every day. Um, and I'm really concerned about not being able to get home. So Papa John and mom are letting us bow out at noon to the, um, on Monday. So, well, not this Monday, the following Monday, but we're going to come in, get all of the orders done and ready to go. And then um, we get to go home at noon. So before all the craziness starts, it's supposed to be around three o'clock, Lindsay, three, three thirty, something like that. Around there. Yeah. Around that time. So um, yeah, I'm curious. Does anybody have any of that going on where you're at? Or I think Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Are you still here? Are you in the path of totality? Yeah, I'm you're sure. A little bit north. Yeah, but she's up by the lake. So, and they're one of the main things. Is she up by the yeah, lake? that's why our Wapakoneta well, is. Van, Van Wert, isn't she? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Van Wert, but it's up that way, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Sharon, if you're if you're still watching, let us know. We're curious. You might have jumped off since I'm not curious, <laughs> and it would not hurt my feelings. But I appreciate it if you're still here. <clears throat> All right, I got to get a little bit more paint here, guys. 
I know. I feel like when you guys jump on, you think you're going to see Chris and then you get me um, and Lindsay. But yeah, I, we appreciate it if you guys stick around and watch us paint. Well, I'm always here. Yeah, Lindsay's always here. She's always does Chris's um, classes. I don't have to really monitor too much. Lindsay takes care of a lot of that stuff. So I'm out of that. But all right, here we go. Oh, Tammy says she's going to be on work travel in Vegas. Oh, but Vegas? But might not see it with a sad face. Oh, Tammy. I hope but you'll be in just, Vegas. You'll be in Vegas. I mean, just go and play one of those machines. I'm sure there's well, a machine. go to the Cirque du Soleil. I'm sure there's an eclipse in one of the machines. We went to. Oh, oh the, the Beatles, Beatles love. love. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working together way too long. Um yeah, we saw Beatles Love. It was really good. So if you're going out that way, Tammy, definitely do that because it's, if you haven't seen it, it's really good. Um, I also, I, I was not a huge fan of the Michael Jackson one. But the music was good. The music was really good. I it was kind of all over the place. Well, it was right after he died. Yeah. And so it was like all that holographic stuff. And so, I, I don't oh. know. It just kind of made me sick. Okay, so Peg says she's in the path, family coming to be with them. Okay, so Peg, like a lot of family yeah. coming? And Sharon says, we canceled our painting class on the Saturday before in Walk Park, so she's staying home. Okay, good. I mean, everybody is, like, they're saying get groceries well, and gas, gas up, up. Yeah. because they're saying there's going to be so many people in town that aren't normally around here that, seriously, we could have problems. I mean, so, we're rural here. We we're are. Like, I mean, Sharon can vouch for that. We're yeah. pretty rural. It's, yeah. We're, like, in the middle of nowhere. We are kind of in the middle of nowhere, for sure. We're okay. 15 minutes from Springfield, which is the biggest city, and 45 minutes from Columbus. Correct. There's a lot of cornfields. Correct. Yes. Okay, I am going to, I, I think I'm good with my orange and my green here. Are we ready for a little, we're not going to take the whole thing out, but we'll do a little reveal and see how it's sneaky. looking so far, a little sneaky peek before I do my carrot. <gasps> oh, guys, that's so cute. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to tape off, let me see here, I need a flat part, my little tip of my carrot here, my little greenery, because I am a messy, messy stenciler, as you guys can tell. So I am going to switch to the number three stencil brush here. Um, so again, Chris's number three spectacular stencil brush. Um, I'm just going to this one because it's a little bit smaller and I'm going to have a little more control around this edge um, because I'm going to be close to other colors and other parts. So I just want to make sure I'm not going to get a mistake. So I'm looking Peg said her son and her kids are coming. They have their glasses. Oh, good. Yes, yes, yes. Got to be careful with that. Make sure. I know. I need to get some glasses for my boys. They have them free at the health department. Oh, do they really? Well, they did. So. Okay. I'll have to check that out tomorrow I when we're off. Cracker Barrel. You got them at Cracker Barrel? Yeah. Okay. I got to get some for the boys. I have a pair from the last Eclipse that we had about seven years ago. It wasn't a total one, but Lindsay got us all glasses, so I still have mine, but... Um, I'm going to, I'll get a couple pairs for my boys. Diane said it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know I'm, it's, I'm not really a big color girl. I usually use black and white. So I, this is a little out of the box for me, guys. This is a little out of the box. Cindy Moore says, how do you stencil so fast? That's just Jen. That's Everything just me. Everything fast. I do is fast. Yes. Talking. Yeah. Everything. I'm really working on trying to slow down when I talk guys. I know we get that comment a lot. Like, um, slow down. You talk so fast. It's just, See, I don't notice it. I don't, it's because I've worked with you forever. It is. You're just used to it. I think Lindsay, honestly. Okay. I'm going to let that orange sit a little bit because I think it's going to need another coat. We'll go to the green and come back. Okay. Again, guys, I'm just washing out my number three stencil brush. I am not using, you can see here, I'm not using another brush. I got my dirty old water over here from what I was working on in the office. Okay. There's that. So now I'm going to pull this up here. You guys are going to be real impressed with this. I'm telling you, it's such a great stencil, isn't it? All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can. Do you need to hit it with a dryer before? You Maybe. Go? You know what, Lindsay? You're smart. That's why I keep you around. Let's hit this with the dryer real quick. Just don't so I don't stencil. pull my yeah. So so I don't pull my. That would be funny. Oh, that would not be funny. That would not be funny. This is what you don't do. This is how you don't stencil, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Line that up there, and we're going to go the other way now. I'm going to bring my green in again. So I'm using this is the Hauser Light again. So I'm just going to. Peg says pretty colors. Thank you, Peg. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I actually um, painted that. Um, I told you guys, I think about it last week, that every bunny welcome with the carrots. I used these colors on that carrots. Um, it was, it turned out super cute. So if you haven't seen that one either, it's super cute. I know it's a little late for Easter, but oh, it is so adorable. Easter um, comes every year. East, it does come every year. So it's never too early to start painting guys. I'm telling you, get on it now and then you won't be stressed for next Easter. Right. 
next Easter, next Christmas. Um, we're going to talk for just a second, guys, about that Christmas Unwrapped. Have you guys gotten your boxes yet? I'm curious what you're thinking of them. Do you love the ornaments? Lindsay and I really liked how the ornaments turned out. We have the next ones. Lindsay's are painted. Mom's working on hers, I think, this weekend. That's what she said. That's what she, she said, said she yeah. It in her head. It's in her head. She's got to get it on the, I on the ornaments. I put a little pressure on her. Yeah, because Lindsay got hers done. So then and my she, pattern's written. Yes. I'm done. Lindsay's done, done. So our part's done. I'll just have to stuff boxes here, but that won't be that big of a deal. We've got a little time before the next set goes out. Okay, I'm switching my color again. Again, guys, same brush. Have you, you haven't seen me put this brush down, so I'm working on the same one again. Okay, now I'm just going to go over this orange one more time, and then I've got a really cool surprise for you that we're going to do here next. And that is good. We're going to add something to this little project. So one of our regular pieces that we carry, <clears throat> and it's perfect for this one, I think so. Okay, I've got the orange covered up now, and now I'm going to get to the green. One more color or one more layer of that. Get that water off of there. Yes, it is, Lindsay. Thank you. I didn't, we didn't even talk about that beforehand. So the thing that we're going to add on, Lindsay and I were just talking about, it's one of our laser cut carrots, and it's so cute. Um, and it, it just looks perfect on it because it's kind of cut like the carrot that's on here. Um, totally by accident. We've had that carrot forever, It's I think. But yeah, we really, we've had it for a long time. So, well, probably not forever, at least a couple years. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm calling it. I'm calling that part it. done. I'm calling it done. Are you guys ready for my big reveal? Oh my goodness. Look how cute, guys. Okay, so now I got my stencil off. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to add to it. I, For the interest of time, I went ahead and I already painted one of these up. But we're going to paint one of these cute little four-inch laser cut carrots. Um, and I just thought they would be so cute on here. And I think we're gonna we're just going to have to do it. So let me get some paint out here. And this is where I'm going to get fancy-dancy with my shading. See, I already did it on this one, guys. I was ahead of the game on that one. So we're gonna get a little bit more of this Canyon Orange on my plate and just get a little bit of water. I say on my plate, not palette. On my plate, it's not a palette. It is my it's paper plate, paper guys. Plate. It's paper legit plate. a paper palette. plate. Um, and I, this, <laughs> for this, <laughs> your paper plate palette, palette. We could invent that, Lindsay. Some kind of paper plate that's like palette paper or something. Yeah. We could be rich. We should do it. Tammy says bravo with clappy emojis. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this brush that I'm using here is the quarter inch awesome angle. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you a secret. I paint almost, I would say 90% of the stuff that I paint, I use these angle brushes. Same. I love the longer bristles on them. Am I on camera, Lindsay? I can't even tell. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, I'm just painting away, not even paying attention. Um, I love the longer bristles on them. I love that, like, I can, like, kind of bend it that way and get all, like, so much more work out of the paint than I would with a smaller brush. I love the angle on the edge. I think it helps me keep the edges um, clean. So if you are struggling with being a messy painter, which I am, as you can tell, because I go fast because I'm working. She lives her life. Fast. I do. I live my life in the fast lane, guys. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So if you are working on something like this, I would definitely suggest the quarter inch angle, the half inch angle and the eighth inch angle. There are, um, there is a bundle available where you can get all three of them for a discounted price. I would highly suggest doing that. Just need another coat of this. Um, so though they are great brushes, guys. I know, like, I want you to buy the stencils because that's what I'm selling you here, of course, because these awesome projects that I'm creating, I know you guys are going to want to create them too. So that's the whole purpose of us doing this is to show you how easy and fun and nice our stencils are to use for projects, right? But I also want you to think about your brushes. And if you want something super easy and super simple to do, you need to have good brushes, right? Um, I think I can cheap out on like a paper plate for my palette and not have to use palette paper, but I definitely am not going to cheap out on my brushes because you need to have good brushes. So just keep that in mind when you are ordering. I would suggest making sure that you have these angles if you... Um, don't already. Okay, so that was Canyon Orange. Now I'm going to go with the Hauser Light on the top, and then we're going to do some shading, and you guys, this has got to be a judgment-free zone, guys, okay? Remember that I am a semi-pro and not professional, but I am trying to 
make some of these projects a little bit more like your style of painting as opposed to my style of semi-pro painting. So that's kind of what we're going to work on here. Do we have any questions? This would be a great time, guys, if anybody has a question that they want to ask. And Lindsay and I are pretty much open books. So if there's anything you want to know about us or, um, or I know Lindsay's laughing, or like like work here or like the store or, you know, something like that, like a product that we have or will we have or Should could we, we get... Should we yesterday? Yeah, go ahead and tell them, Lindsay. So once a year, Papa John mm -hmm. and Mom mm -hmm. take us on a little, what would you call it? Fun day? It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a fun day. Yeah. yeah. It's a company outing. Um, this is the third annual cover distributing yeah. Monte Carlo day is what I call yes. it. Yes. Um, we get the day off work and yep. we went to Columbus and yep. did a little, uh, slot machining. We did. Yeah. We went to the casino and everybody had a great time. Uh, no one came out ahead. No. I think I did the best. Lindsay, I came out even. Lin Lindsay came out even. I think I came out like negative 40 bucks or something, which, you know, when That's we, for as long as we were at the casino, cause we were there for a few hours. Yeah. So for as long as we were there, um, Let's yeah. Let's just say the barnyard animals machines were not yeah nice like to us yesterday. Lindsay and I just absolutely adore anything like um gimmicky <laughs> and like when things like lights and sounds like our eyes we're are like drawn squirrels. yeah we are we're like oh what's that let's go find that one but um yeah so we went to the casino yesterday and they took us out to lunch and it was so much fun guys so we see what I mean about being family like this is the kind of stuff that we get to do here because we're like family they treat us like family and we treat them like family and and Papa John said he won that day. Remember, he was talking about yes. points. Yes, points. Yes, yes. He but did he come out with money? Yeah, no. I no, he did not. Okay, guys, so that's my base carrot. All right, I'm going to do a quick, how we do on time? Do I have time to do shade, like a little bit of shading, Lindsay? Yeah, go for it. Okay. All right, you guys want to see me? Hopefully, I don't say any bad words, because sometimes when I mess this up, no. <laughs> I say some rotten words. So, Okay, I'll do my best. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of shading, guys, real quick. Um, I'm going to use persimmon on top of the canyon orange. Shading's floating. I don't even know. Is it the right word I'm using? I don't even know. Some people, uh, I think, I think is it shading? Well, I don't know. And Chris says you can float the color. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I'm... I is okay. She on? Did you got yeah? Is she on? Um, did you guys watch Chris's video on shading and floating and all of that kind of stuff and highlighting? So I learned some stuff. You, you got to walk the paint around, and you only want to load like half your brush. And if it's not moving, you need to add more water. See, I paid attention, Mom. I was watching all of the stuffing um, boxes, subscription boxes on my phone and you guys were in here painting it and I paid attention. So I'm hoping, I mean, I think I did okay on this one. So we're going to see how this one looks when it's dry. But yeah, I, this one, the colors are kind of close. So it's kind of hard to tell in this light how it's looking, but yeah, I'm working on this. I'm more, this is a new adventure for me, guys. I don't usually do this kind of stuff. So this is out of my comfort zone. Okay, and then I've got Hauser Medium, of course, because, you know, Hauser Light, Hauser Medium, that's easy, tells you how to do it. So a little spot of that on my palette here and a little bit of water on my brush here and dry that off a bit, get a little bit on the tip here, and then we'll work on these leaves up here while we wait on that persimmon to dry a little bit. So I'm, again, a semi-pro, guys, semi-pro, keep that in mind. So mine's not going to be professional like yours is probably going to look, but just bear with me and let's hope it works out okay, all right? So Rosie just asked, do we have affiliates? And we do have affiliates yeah. right now. It's in a testing phase. We just started this at the beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. Actually, Tammy Etheridge is one of our affiliates. She is. Um, and it, we're just testing it and kind of playing with the program. Seeing if how it we, works out. Yeah. And um, if we accept more, we will announce it on our social media on Facebook. So just follow us on Facebook. Great question. Um, it's new to us. We're trying to kind of figure it out as we go. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, that was a great question. Yeah, very good question. Thank you for asking that. Any other questions? Anything anybody else wants to know? I mean, I've told you guys about how awesome Lindsay is last week. And let's see. Mm, I told you about my family. You know about my family. I have two boys, adult boys. Um, they're not boys. They're men anymore. But um, one is 20. Austin's still a boy. Austin's, he's 20, but he's, he's, 20. he's still a boy, yeah. Um, he actually... 
just got home from the military right before Christmas. He was in the Marine Corps um, and is now home for good. And he is starting a new job on Monday. So super excited about that. Um, Actually just over yonder from the store. Yeah, it's really close to where we're working here. So it'll be, he was like, Mom, we could do lunch together. I was like, well, yeah, I don't have time for lunch. I only get a half an hour. Uh, and I don't think he's going to have time either because he's got great hours, like 6.30 to 2.30. I and mean, holy cow. Yeah, holy cow. Well, how nice of the hours are that? But, yeah. And then my oldest son, Dakota, is um, graduating college in May with a degree in exercise science. So that's really cool. And my husband – oh, I don't know if I've ever told you guys about my husband. Mr. Brad. Mr. Brad is a lineman, and so he works for a power company and is – not home very often because he works all the time so you all can have your power so and lately he's actually we had some devastating tornadoes up north of the county north of us and he's been yeah fixing power up there so he sure has so he's been a busy beaver okay let's see how's that look on is that looking pretty good i think i need yes a, ma i think i need, need just a little, little bit more of the orange. orange yes okay same see great minds Lindsay. great minds okay so Let's do a little bit more orange here so you can see it a little better. Oh, yeah, that definitely looks better. Susan said, I love all my items I've ordered from you. And that was all with a bunch of L's. Oh, good. Good, 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 We're Susan. Glad. We're glad. And thank you for ordering. Like, we really appreciate our customers. It's hard for us because we feel like you guys are almost like family, too. We talk to some of you guys on the phone so frequently. Um, and it's it's like we're... We know you. We know your family. We know, you know, so much about you guys. And we don't always get to see faces. Like, we know no. Sharon because she's she, yeah. local. Yeah, she comes out to pick up her stuff because she doesn't live very far from us, um, from the store. So, she's kind of local to us. So, she'll come over and pick up her projects. We'll pick Mary Jane's in here. But we know Mary Jane because she's yes. one of our open houses. Yeah, Mary Jane comes a good little bit. So but, yes, we do love getting to know everybody and talking to you on the phone. Yeah, so we, are, we always love talking to you guys. Okay. So I'm just going to take my little um, white gel pen, doing something a little different this time, guys. I'm not doing those little hash lines. Just going to add a few little, um, little like sets of three dots to my little carrots here to just kind of dress them up a little bit. Um, so let's just do the same thing to this one. I live in the world where if you do it on one side, you need to do it on the other. So it looks good. So it kind of flows and takes your eye from one side to the other, right? So. And this is the white gel pen we yes. have them on our website. I think they're on both websites. Yes, right? this is the Uniball white gel pen. It is my absolute favorite tool yes. um, for any of your uh, stenciling projects because or painting projects. Just a little bit of this, guys, just a little bit, like, brings those accents out and your letters and makes them not feel like they're so flat. Um, just adds a little bit of dimension to it. So I just like to take every, like, other letter or so and add just a couple of, like, a short little line and a couple of dots. It just really dresses up the project, and I think it just adds a little bit of interest. It's, it makes the letters a little bit easier to look at when they're just all one color. So I'm just going to do that real quick here and um, finish this up. Tammy says, got to run, girls. Do the calls. Great job, Jen. Thank you so much, Tammy. Thanks for joining us, ma'am. Appreciate it. Um, Rosie asks, what state are we located in? Rosie, we are in the good old OH. Ohio. Ohio. Yes, ma'am. We are in Urbana, Ohio. And we um, always do that. Ohio yes. always do that. Ohioans always do that. We spell it. E even though I'm not from Ohio, technically. I grew up in West Virginia. Lindsay grew up in Ohio, but... Um, yeah, so we are in Ohio, Urbana, Ohio. We're about what 35, 40 minutes from our uh, from Columbus, Lindsay. Yeah, 40 ish, 40 ish minutes, yeah, yeah, from Columbus. So we're west, relatively west close, -ish. relatively close to Columbus. Um, we're about an hour from Dayton, if you're familiar yeah. with Ohio at all. About 40, minutes 40 from well, hour from my house, yeah, yeah so about 40 right. minutes from Dayton and hour and a half from Cincinnati, maybe Lindsay. On a good day, yeah, on a good day, depending on traffic. So um, we're in a small town called Urbana. Yes, ma'am. Um, what what do we say about Urbana? Urbana is um, it's like it's bigger. It's older. It's um, an older town, but it's a bigger town. Like the house I live in is well over 120 years old. Mm -hmm. Um, there's houses in here from the 1800s and whatnot. So it's a really nice historic town. Yeah, it is. Um, the only claim do we have claim to fame? Um, yes, yes, we do. Guy, um, so if you've seen the movie Shawshank Redemption, the prison guard. Um, the mean prison guard, he's from Urbana, Clancy Brown. Yeah. His parents actually, I know where his parents live. Also, um, the guy from SpongeBob SquarePants. That's him. 
Oh, that's the same guy? That's the same guy. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, the Mr. voice. Krabs. Yeah, the voice of Mr. Krabs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I put my wedge up in a way, and then I decided, wait, this guy looked awful flat. So let's just do a couple of, like, little details to that. There, that looks better, doesn't it? Should I do yes. them here, or is that going to be too much? I you think might could do, like, two. Yeah, I'm thinking it needs something. It needs something up there. No, it needs three. three. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. That's my project. What do you think? This is fun. This one was a fun one, guys. I liked it. So kind of out of your it's very out of my like comfort zone, but I do like how it turned out, guys. You're pushing me out of my comfort zone, everybody. All right. So again, the um the stencil that we use is the Mr. Cotton Tails Carrot Patch Fresh You Pick. Um, I use Deco Art Paints for the green. I did everything in Hauser Light, um, except for the shading for the top of my carrot. I did the Hauser Medium. Now. I am not that good that I can shade in here. I'm sure you guys can and make it look absolutely fabulous. Um, for my orange, I did everything in Canyon Orange. Okay, so this is Canyon Orange base, base, coated, base coated my um, orange part of my carrot in Canyon Orange. And then I did a little bit of shading with the persimmon on the, the carrot as well. Um, and then I used the white Uniball gel pen. I used Chris's um, quarter inch awesome angle, which I absolutely love. I used the number three stencil brush and I used the number four spectacular stencil brush. So, so those are the projects that I, or the supplies I used. Diane says she loves it. Rosie says it turned out awesome. And Susan, I gotta say, Susan, she wrote love and the O is a carrot. Oh, how adorable. I love it. Thank you guys so much. All right, Lindsay, you want to flip our camera real quick? Sure. Okay, everybody. Thank you for joining us today on our semi-pro stenciling project with Jen and Lindsay. We always have so much fun when we're doing these. And we are so thankful that you guys join us and stick through and watch my project. Um, again, this was a little out of my comfort zone, but we made it happen. And we'll be back. Are we working? We're doing yeah, a video next Thursday. You're next here next Thursday. Thursdays, yeah, next two should. Thursdays, we'll have videos. Um, and then we're going to take a break for a week because Lindsay's going to be gone and I can't do this by myself. So we'll have two videos, a break, and then we'll be back with another video at the end of the month. Um, does anybody have any other questions before we jump off um, that we can answer for you before we have to hop out of here? Sharon says, great job. Thank you. Have a great day, Rosie, little carrot at the end. Oh, you guys are so cute with your carrots. I love it. Did I inspire you all? Are you all ready for Easter? Oh, I had a quick question I was going to ask everybody. Are you ham or turkey for Easter at your house? We are turkey because we're not big ham people at my house. And my I, my husband and I like it, but our boys don't. So we're doing honey baked or honey um, honey baked turkey, turkey breast, which is phenomenal from honey baked mm. hams. Oh, it's so good. We always get I've got two of them this year because we're on a carnivore diet and we only eat meat, so I've got two of them. And yeah, so sure, it's a ham. Ham, okay. My yeah. mom's doing ham. We are actually, are, we're kind of like low key in yeah. my husband's family. We do uh, cold cuts. Yeah, I was going to say, sandwiches. you guys are doing sandwiches. Okay. Sandwiches and Hey, stuff. however you get your family yeah. together, it doesn't matter. If you're with the people you love, that's all that matters. There's Absolutely. No little, little kids. Anymore, no little kids. So we just sit around and eat sandwiches and play games. And I know. I know. I'm, this is the first year I'm not doing Easter baskets for and my get kids. Our Easter baskets. Yeah, I'm not doing them for my, my kids this year. My mother was awesome. She gives us like, I always look forward to it. We get like a baking dish or something yeah and she fills it with like candy and stuff yeah i'm thinking like i'm just gonna give them cash this year because well what, they're not eating candy yes yeah, give them some cash because they're not eating candy we're all on a diet yeah. so that's not fun to get stuff you can't eat but okay well i'm glad i was just curious about that <laughs> okay guys thanks for joining us this is jen and Lindsay with some pro stenciling you can get all the project or all the supplies at cdwood.com or you can hop over to the cd stencil site and you can also get the stencils and the brushes there so that's cdstencil.com make sure you go over grab what you need and we'll be back next thursday with another project all right Have a happy easter yes happy easter guys enjoy time with your family we'll see you next time Bye bye